Ahoy, shipmates. The boys at Gripping Beast have sent me some late Roman half guard. So what I'm going to do today, I have a quick look at these miniatures. Just straightforward late Imperial Romans. And they've also sent me these shield transfers, which is something they stock. Uh, they're very good shield transfers. I've used them a few times. And what I thought this would be interesting in this video is if I paint these up and then come back and show you how to put the transfers on. But they're fair, I'm going to have a fairly straightforward paint job on these guys. Fairly quick and straightforward. I'll do that and then we'll come back and show us to do the transfers. Brilliant. Okay, so we've painted these little guys up. We've made sure we've painted the shields white. I like to go for a kind of off-white colour. I think it looks like that. Let's get some more light down there. Okay, we need a little pot of water for it in a bit. Handy little nail scissors, which I always use to cut them out. First thing we want to do with these little big man sheets is... When they've been in the packet a little while, the glue tends to get a little bit stuck up. So if you peel the hole before you cut them out, carefully, 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 peel them all the way back and just hang on to one corner. Okay, then let that gently sit back. Don't press it down too hard. Just so it thinks. The front shiny side has got an adhesive to it. And I think what happens when it's been in the packet for a little while or it's been pressed, that adhesive really gets hold of them. So then, we're going to snip away. You can do this with uh, your. your sharp knife if you like I just like my fingers to stay in one piece and I think you get a little bit more chance of not hacking your fingers to pieces this way which is always a good thing as we can hear Spike the snoring staffy is fast asleep There we go, so we trim that bit off, get rid of that. And as you see, we've still got that bit of plastic on there. Because we've already peeled it off once, hopefully, boop, it should come off quite easily. Be careful not to touch that, because at the moment that's, as you see on the shine, that's adhesive. We're going to make sure we're the right way up. Use the boss to line up. And just press it down nice and firmly. There we go. Right, I shall do the others off camera and then we'll come back. Because we need to leave those to dry a little while as well because the adhesive will really get hold of that. And we'll see you in a minute. So, I've been stuck all those on. And it's been a little while to let them dry a bit. So, as we see, we've got the paper side out now. So, i get some water on my brush. And you see the this uh, paper will soak it up really well. Don't fiddle with it, just get the water on there, make sure it's all wet. You, you'll tell how it soaks in. It starts going a bit translucent. That's good. Yeah, these little big man stickers are really, really good. Uh, they do banners as well. And our friends at Gripping Beast, 
will get you the right ones for their shields. These are designed to go with the Gryphon B shields. And they'll tell you which ones are which, which is really cool. Again, today, this has all been, all this stuff's been sent to me by Gryphon Beast, very kindly, and uh, for us to play with. So, as you see, that was all in real time. And what we'll do, just ditch that. Make sure it's nice and thing. What you can do with the wet brush, just make sure there's no air bubbles and the it's nicely flat. That one come out really nice and flat. Sometimes they're a little bit lifted up by the boss. If that happens and you kind of put it a little bit on the boss, get your craft knife or maybe the end of the scissors and just. Nick a little bit round it. I oh, see it was up a little bit. I thought it was. The adhesive just hadn't quite thing. Probably best. I don't need to cut it, so I'll just use the end of the wet brush. So damaging the transfer at all. Okay, so that's that one. Let's have another look at the other one. Make sure the paper's nice and wet. It should. Just fall flat. Yeah, you can see on that one it's slightly raised, so we're just gonna I don't think I particularly needed to wet the brush and I just wanted it nice and soft. Make sure it's nicely tucked in around that boss. Let's do another one. Yeah, it's really important to make sure you paint the shield area white because these are slightly see-through. If you go straight onto the metal, it will give you a metallic finish. And they dark, and you don't want them too dark. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to, once I've done all these, Around the boss area is pretty cool, I don't need to touch that in at all. But around the edges here, it's got a red thing. I'm going to just get my brown back out in a sec and just run a little bit around the edges there just to paint that in. But these these are fitted really, really well, so I don't really think they, they need a lot of touching up too. So what I'll do is I'm going to touch up around the edges with some paint that there's maybe a little bit of red needed in there and then I'm going to get these lacquered up get them in the light box and show you what they're like when they're all finished right well thank you for watching so the next ones you should still are the stills and I have to remember I've been told off I need you to hit the subscribe button hit a like button Leave a comment, see what you'd like me to do next, and thank you for watching. See you next time.